key influencers is one of the best AI visuals freely available in Power BI. We'll cover this in this video. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ahmad Adnan. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is a Power BI file and in this I have this sales. So sales amount by sheep date and I filtered the sheep date from 2011 to 2013. So I want to analyze what are the key matrices impacting the sales during these periods. So here's this key influencer visual. You can drag and drop here. And then in the analyze, I have used this measure, which is created here, sales amount by sheep date. If you look at this tax calculation, so sum of sales amount, use the relationship of the date key and then the ship date key. So it is showing me the value of the sales based on the ship date. And then, so basically the first option it has is the analyze. So what you going to analyze? A field you want to analyze, summarized field and measures are evaluated at the level set by the explained by and explained by fields. So I'm going to analyze the sales amount by ship date. I want these key visuals to explain me the reasons of it. So in explained by, I'm adding this category, subcategory, country, and then the full date key as well. And in explained by, I'm adding this customer age on that. So basically, here on the explained by, if I add up all this value here, let's close this one, and I'm going to make this view as actual size. So it will be a large here. For you easy to understand and check this video and here there's two options here key influencer and top segment we will go one by one what influences sales amount by shape date to increase so what are the parameters impact metrics has impacted to increase the sales here so here the average sales amount by shape date increased by the first is we have selected a year from 2011 to 2013 so it is showing that in year 2011 it is well, 3000 is increased when compared to 2012 and 2013. That's the one thing. And if you click here, it will open up a chart on the right side, which it shows here. Fit to width. So sales amount by ship rate is more likely to increase when year is 2011 than others on an average. So it is the sales of years 2011, 12, and 13. If you look at here. If you take the average of these three years, it is 816 itself. So that's why it is increased in 2011 when compared to these two years. Likewise, as I added the category as well. So what it is showing is category is why it is more likely to sell when compared to other category items. It is 2.3 thousand more than the other ones. So here we have three categories. One is the bike, clothing and accessories. Out of these three, and average is 816 which is showing it on yellow color here so it is more up here so it is 2.3k higher than the other categories so when it comes to the subcategories it is showing the mountain bike is more than the others which is 1.8 thousand is more than other subcategories if you look at the data here it is showing all the values here all the subcategories here out of that the average it will take is 816 values here and here, if you look at this, there are three bikes are there. That is mountain bikes, road bikes, and touring bikes. Out of these three, the highlighted colors, it is green. So it is saying that this mountain bike is higher than the other categories, I mean subcategories. So the next come is here, these are the terms. So these are the subcategories and year as well. So this is interesting here. The month is January. So what it understand is out of the all the years, out of these three years, Sorry, out of all the month in three years, it is showing that only in January we have huge sales when compared to other rest of the months. So in January we have huge sales on an average when compared to other months here, we have November, December, and then June. So we don't have February is at the last year. So we are very much deep on the February. And here if you look at the country as well, this is interesting to find out that we have this much of countries here of our sales out of that during these three years we have good sale in australia 
when compared to United States, Germany, UK, France, and Canada. Interesting, right? So I personally really like these features. So I thought to make a video on it. So if you click on top segment, the other options here. So this is about what the reason of increase, right? So we'll go on the top segment here. So when the sales amount by ship day is more likely to high. Here we have found a four segmented here and rank them by average of sales amount by ship date and population of the site. Select a segment to see more details. Basically what it does is it will actually make the cluster of the columns what we have selected on the explain by and then it will try to figure out the value here. The more of the up value here which is showing it here is because of the value is high and if the size of the ball is larger then the quantity is high when I mean, the volume is high. So if you click on this one 3.84k which is up here what is showing is segment one if the category is bike and the year is 2011 then we have very much good sale when compared to others here. So in segment one the average sales amount by ship date is 3.84k this is 3000k units higher than the overall average of 816 when compared to these two category bike and year is 2011. So segment one contains this is much of data points here which is 5.1% of the total data. Likewise if you click go back here close this one it will go up to this one. So now if you look at this value which is a higher in the size of this ball and but lower in the value. So if you click here if the category is bike subcategory is road bike and year is not equal to 2011 then we have this option. In segment 4 the average sales amount by ship date is 1.88k this is 1.06 unit higher than the overall average of 816. This value is showing it here. This cool thing. So now let's understand about the reason of decrease here. So instead of increase you can click on decrease here. So it quickly shows me that the year is 2013 we have very much low sales when compared to these three years and on the category section the accessories is more likely to decrease when the category is accessories than any other on average. The subcategories we have less sale in the cap when compared to other subcategories as well. So now if you go to this top segment, six segment they have found here and rank them by average of sales amount by ship date and population size. So if you click on the lowest one here, this is the first one. So category is not equal to bike and subcategory is cap. So whenever the category is not equal to bike and subcategory is cap, we have very much low sales when compared to other things. So if it comes to higher margin here, so category is not bike, country is not United States, I mean country is United States, subcategory is not bottles and cages, subcategory is not caps, subcategory is not jerseys then it is 53.1 rupees this is 763 units lower than the overall average of 816 this is the lowest of the clusters value here this is really helpful to analyze the features i mean insights of the data which even we don't know in general so this brings up the data inside and out so that we can easily understand what it is and how it is and this will be really very much helpful if you're doing a self-service pi so this is all about the key influencer visuals in Power BI. Even though I have released this on the late, which was and actually it was released one year before, but as I was doing on other videos, so I didn't make up with this one. Now I'm making a series of videos about the A visuals in Power BI. So this is one of them. So stay tuned for the further updates on the A visuals in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.